So I had to go and get some water. I started without having my water nearby. Make sure that you always have some water nearby so that you can stay hydrated as you're exercising. As you need to, just stop and take sips of water. I try to drink for myself anywhere from five to seven of these daily um, to help me stay hydrated. Also to my water, I like to add a tablespoon or two tablespoons of vinegar along with a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and a pinch of Himalayan pink salt. And I shake this up and this helps replenish my electrolytes. Make sure that you replenish your electrolytes, especially if you're exercising, you're sweating a lot. And remember that as your body is losing weight, that your cells are losing water. And with that water goes your electrolytes. So make sure that you're replenishing them so that you won't experience the keto flu. You won't have muscle aches and these things won't and, uh, surprise you so much when they happen to you. I'm going to go ahead and sit down here for just a moment, get me some rest in. So how are you all doing on your quest to losing five pounds in two weeks? I hope that you're having some good results. I am sticking and staying. Um, I'm beginning on and off the scale, just checking, curiosity, but what I want to say, I know your scale is going up and down just like mine is. It's just bouncing up and down. But keep going. Keep going. Um, Sunday is going to be week one, the end of week one. And Monday we'll be starting with uh, week two. And again, what we're wanting to accomplish is to lose five pounds in two weeks. We can do this. Lose five pounds in two weeks. Add in some exercise. Make sure that you are getting plenty of sleep. I'm going to be getting off here. I'm not going to stay on here long. I just want to get on here to check in to see how you're doing. Tell you to stay encouraged. Stay focused on yourself. Um, make sure that you're trying to get in your 10,000 steps a day. I have been aiming for mine tonight. I'm probably only going to get in about 8,000 steps. Right now I'm at 73.34. And I am so poop tonight. Um, now, remember, I am not a doctor or a clinician or anything, but I am a keto coach. I am a certified keto coach. Um, I like to share my weight loss story because I like people to know that they can do it. Um, it's going to be full of ups and downs. You're not going to sometimes see steady, uh, steady progress that you want to see, but you have to take into account that you're going to have stalls. You're going to have to tweak your diet sometime. Also, you're going to have to plan. You're going to have to plan for when you do plateau, what you're going to do. You don't want to just feel so frustrated that you just start eating more and more saying that you can't do it. No, that's when you want to push through it. Just keep going, even though you that scale is not moving. Just keep going, going, going. Then one day you get up on that scale and you're going to see a weight loss. Long as you keep going and don't give up. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Like, share, and comment. I like to share um, tips that have helped me as far as losing over 100 pounds that I have been able to keep off. Um, after I lost the weight, I had to learn how to do maintenance. Maintenance is very, very important. Um, but during that period, I did gain some weight back. I lost 147 and I gained about 40 something pounds back. Um, I have lost about 10, almost 15 pounds of that, but I'm still struggling to get the smallest that I got while I was um, doing strict keto, and that was down to 211, between 211 and 217 is where I fluctuated at then. So, I mean, when I got that small, I thought that, you know, I was small enough, and I may feel like that again. I'm, I'm, I'm 
sort of satisfied with where I am now, but I want to lose about 40 to 50 more pounds, which I said, then that's going to put me under that 199 mark like I want to be. So that is my goal. That is my goal that I am going to reach this year. And <clears throat> it has to do with me just getting serious, serious, serious about my weight loss. Um, I, I don't want to say, I don't feel like I'm as serious as I can be right now about my weight loss or on my weight loss journey. And that is what I am trying to do is get to that point where I'm doing my strict, strict keto again so that I can see the results that I did before. But I think a lot of us who are on this ketogenic diet now, that's what we're wanting to see results that we saw before. And we have to remember that before we were eating a lot more calories, or at least I was. I was eating a lot more calories and a lot more carbs than when I first started. So just about anything that I did that was going to um, reduce my calorie intake and reduce my carb intake, change the way I was eating, I was going to lose weight. Um, I learned about the ketogenic diet, which is where you eat 70 to 75 percent worth of fat. Seems like a lot of fat, but it's really not. And you're eating good, healthy fats, which is what you learn when you learn about the ketogenic diet. You want to eat about, I'd say about 20 to 25 percent worth of protein and anywhere from 5 to 10 percent worth of carbs daily. The ideal um, keto diet is to keep your carbs at 10% or lower daily in order to see some of the best results and to keep your fat intake at least around 70% and that way you'll be able to feel fuller longer between your meals which is very very important or else you're going to fall off and become very very hangry which means angry when you're eating you know I, that's a little joke but you're going to be so hangry that you're probably just going to eat everything inside. I mean, the sweets, the pastries, um, drink all the pop, eat all the cookies, eat all the pizza, eat all the sandwiches, eat all of just whatever until you're just completely satisfied. Some people do fall off like that. That is not what we want to do. We are here to encourage one another to do our very best. And if we do fall off, Get back up and start again. Get back up and start again. This is a non-judgmental YouTube channel. Non-judgmental YouTube channel. Do your best. Give it your best. And that's all that you can do. If you fall off, get up and start again. Just keep going. Keep focusing on yourself. And when you keep doing this over and over and over again, eventually it's going to become a habit. And that's what you want to accomplish. My mouth is getting dry from talking. I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the foods, some more foods that I have eaten. Now, a lot of the times, y'all, I have eaten just burgers. Today I had got up and made like a couple of burger patties and put something together and took it with me when I left to go dashing. Um, yesterday, I didn't do that. And I find myself eating uh, a few things that I would normally eat um, if I had food with me and food available. So that's why it is so important, so, so important to have a meal prep or have something available for you to eat when you get hungry. And if you are going out without eating, take something with you or take some type of a good smoothie that you can sip on or something like that, but something that's going to be filling for you and help you stay focused on your goal. So I am staying as focused as I can. I hope that you're staying as focused as you can. Let's keep each other encouraged. I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.